Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Bryce Lewis with the Strength Athlete. So, the online meet was this past weekend, um, and it was actually a lot of fun for us to judge. Um, so, I kind of want to break down the whole experience for us um, and for you guys as well. Uh, what went into the online meet, how did it turn out, what kind of people entered, um, you know, and just generally talk through the entire process. So, uh, we originally had 312 entries, which blew my mind actually. Um, we left the application period open all the way up to the competition because in an online meet, there, you know, you can really enter at the last possible moment as long as you're lifting the day of competition, and that's totally fine. Um, out of those 312 entries, an actual 57 people submitted video. So that's a rate of only 18% of people that came through and competed, which uh, was a lot lower than I expected. I was expecting to be judging for three days straight while juggling coaching and, you know, my own lifting and my time with my wife and my puppy as well. So um, it turned out to be a lot easier to judge than I thought. And probably the hardest part was just creating the spreadsheet and getting all that down on paper. After that, it was pretty easy for us to go through each video and, um, you know, do our judging. As far as uh, the procedure goes to keep things fair, we implemented USAPL rules. We tried to get a camera angle where we could see as much as possible. Um, of course, there was no possible way we could have done uh, drug testing or anything like that. Um, and of course, you guys are only sending in footage of one lift. So that simplifies our part. But on the other hand, if you got a no lift on one of those for some reason, you're just out of the meat. So it's a little bit harsh in that sense because in an actual competition if you miss a lift one time you've got another chance or two to come back and get it so there may be a way for us to change that in the future but that's the way that it was for this competition um, and along with that what we did as judges to try to make things fair was I would go through and judge all the entries and then black out my entries so that the other judges couldn't see and then each of them Eric, Connie, and Reed would go through and do the same thing so for all of your footage there were four judges looking at every single attempt and every single video. And since we had four judges above the usual three judges for a pallet to meet, we gave you the benefit of the doubt if it was two yeses and two noes for a specific lift. For your entry to count, you've had to have at least two yeses on every single lift across the board. If there were three noes on one lift, uh, unfortunately, you guys are out. And we actually had a lot of disqualifications, um, which tells me that we had a lot of people that are new to powerlifting which is totally fine and acceptable. And we had a lot of people that maybe are more experienced but didn't read the rules. And uh, I thought I was pretty explicit on the entry about what we're looking for in the specific lifts and which rules we're going by and what we're looking for. So within those guidelines, we actually had a good amount of people that were disqualified for one reason or another, um, which is okay. And I kind of want to explain why. Um, this is an online made up meet with no consequence for failing. Uh, it may be something you prep for, it may be something you just threw into your training. In either regard, um, it's my hope that you guys use it as a learning experience um, to go forward and to correct things. So if you got disqualified for one reason or another, we made an effort to say why, and hopefully that doesn't happen in competition for you guys. So the idea is um, make errors here where it doesn't count. Don't make errors in actual competition where it does count. So. Uh, in the cases where we, we mark something, try to take that into account in your training. Change it, make it better, um, make it something you focus on. So that way, if it's something like depth of the squat in competition, um, it's not something you ever have to worry about. Um, and we judge by USAPL standards. I just recently got certified as a USAPL at least state level referee, so that at least adds some level of accountability to what, uh, what the outcome was. And, um, you know, I think, I think it was judged very fairly as well. So uh, the format itself of an online competition has its limitations, but I think that overall it's, uh, it was a good experience, and I think a good experience for a lot of the competitors as well. Um, right. So as far as the rules go, the rules that were most egregiously um, violated were depth on the squat, um, hitching on the deadlift, and then either heels coming off the, the ground on the bench press, or the head coming off, or the butt coming off. Um, because these were all completed lifts, we didn't have to worry about, um, you know, just a no lift because someone didn't complete the attempt. The only attempts that were submitted were attempts that were completed. So that made our job easier in some senses. But um, if you're in one of those cases, definitely try to correct that in the next round and 
I definitely look forward to doing something like this in the future. We were all really excited about it, and we were all kind of really motivated about the fact that some of you guys put in a little bit extra and put some music in your videos or added a little comedy or, you know, just got hyped up with your friends or your gym friends were getting really excited. Um, that was cool for us to watch, and it was really a lot of fun. Um, right. So as far as the prospect of another meet going forward, I would love to do this again. And I think that it was really cool. And I think going forward, we do probably a few things differently. Um, I would charge a nominal fee to enter, something like 5 or $10. And uh, that does a few things. One, that pays for our time, of course, in, in coaching this as well. Um, two, it makes it so that if you enter at all, you're more likely to submit an actual entry. So we don't get that massive disparity between the number of people uh, that signed up for the meet and the number of people that actually came through and submitted their, their video footage. So that way we have a little bit of a higher return rate. Finally, number three, what we'll probably do is take about half of that money and turn around and just put it in a pot and make it prize money available for the winners. So not only are we having supplements and, you know, gear from Slingshot and uh, Fit Like EQ and, sorry, Fit Like Q uh, and Quentin Weber, good folks up in Canada. And um, we had Slingshot we had um, Barbell Brigade come through. We had I'llPumpYouUp.com come through, and of course Citadel Nutrition. So all these sponsors contributed stuff, but it'd be cool to actually um, get some money involved, and I think that may even attract some more people. So um, definitely a cool idea. As far as the winners go, we had a total of uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 22 winners across weight classes. Um, for some of them, you were the only person that entered that class, so of course you won. For some others, there were more people that entered the class, um, but you know for whatever reason they were disqualified, so you won uh, by de facto. Um, but there were a few classes that had some amazing competition. Rob Kim in the 83s won by just five pounds on the total, so a very close battle there. Um, and overall, I gotta say one of the coolest things was just seeing everyone's lifting environments and seeing what some people go through to lift. Um, there was a young 12 year old girl lifting in a gym that was like uh, all wooden squat racks and things like that. Um, there were people lifting on carpeted bedrooms and just doing all kinds of things just to get lifting, which shows me how large the powerlifting community is and um, that something like this could really change things going forward. So something I'm, I'm really excited about, I'm going to post the uh, post the winners down below in the description box and also post a link to the uh, original entry page where I've also added a link to the spreadsheet and a little bit of a recap that essentially is some of the same stuff I'm talking about. If you have any questions, um, definitely send them my way, either info at thestrengthathlete.com or Bryce at thestrengthathlete.com or just post in the comment sections below. And um, I will be sending out prizes to the winners. So thank you guys all for competing. It was an awesome experience. Uh, an awesome social experiment as well, and I really look forward to doing it again. Take care.